Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fire and I'm here with the weekly astrology forecast, the weekly evolutionary astrology forecast or message. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and every week I'm giving out a message that is good for all the zodiac signs because I'm talking about the celestial weather that we are all affected from, from an evolutionary viewpoint. So, first of all, and before we begin, <clears throat> a lot of my friends and clients approached me uh, during last week, asked me, what's going on in the skies? There's very, very intense energies. And uh, I told them, look at my previous videos. We are at a very intense time. All through this month, we're going to have high intensity in the heavens. When we have such a T-square between Pluto, T-squaring Uranus, and Jupiter, it is felt. It is felt there's this evolutionary power that challenges us and needs us to adapt our mind frame, adapt our belief system, adapt the way we see the world and take a bigger more innovative part of leadership, personal leadership, unique leadership within the group. So that's on the one hand, but on the other hand we have another square. We have Chiron, the wounded healer, and Saturn, the Lord of Karma. So we keep on meeting our own pain, we are keeping, we keep on meeting our own um, constrictions and, and uh, debilities in a very karmatic way, in a way we have met before. It's this reoccurring cycle within our lives that we are met with again and again, we are confronted with again and again in a challenging way. And this time is really about not turning our face away from it. But turning our gaze back, as fearful as we can be, and addressing the pain, addressing the debility, addressing the disability, addressing the wound, dressing the wound. Yes, Georgia? You want to come sit here? Yeah? You're not sure? Anyway, so all through this month we have a very intense energy in the sky. <clears throat> we can feel shaken and we can feel exhausted and we can feel like the pillars of our life that have been really an island of stability are a little bit shaken, are a little bit stirred. This is the time to turn inward. This is the time, as I said, to address any issue that we've been neglecting both in our personal and collective lives and understand the damages and the constrictions that it keeps on having on our present and future if we don't address it and cleanse all that pestering wound out of our system, both communally and personally. Whether it be environmental problems or whether it be our own habits. We are eating too fat or we're smoking or we're whatever it is. Not having enough exercise, talking badly to our peers or to our family members, whatever it is. Because if we don't that could have implications for us in our lives. As simple as that. And this is a time of earthquakes. Both literally with this square to Pluto and Uranus and Jupiter, this T-square, and, and metaphorically in our lives. And these earthquakes come to make new pieces fall into place that open up our eyes and our minds and finally make us realize that there's a higher truth 
it gets us to widen our scope, to broaden our horizons, and we start understanding what it is we need to believe in and what light it is we need to walk by. It is that something reveals itself from behind the curtain and we finally get it. And our challenge is, is to adopt it in our lives. To adopt a wiser way, a way that if we look back on this challenging time that we're in right now, if we look back at it in a year from now, we could be proud of ourselves. We could tap ourselves on the shoulders and say, Hey, there were some challenges, but you aced it, buddy. You really did. Transmuting our usual way of how you of, of responding, I'm sorry, of responding to something. Responding better to challenges within our own lives. Now, as I said last week, the fact that Mars is in Taurus actually helps us. Because it tames down Mars, makes it more consistent, more settled down, but also more stubborn. Don't let that stubbornness be part of your life. Let other people influence you and your thoughts and your behavior. Don't be stuck. But it makes us all less impulsive and that's very important. One of the most important parts of this month is the 12th of March. Sunday, full moon in 22 degrees Virgo. What is that all about? Not only that, it happens as Chiron, the wounded healer, is conjunct the sun, going into a period in which it would be in Kazemi, what the ancients called the heart of the sun. It was always thought that when a planet approaches the sun, too closely it is combust. It cannot be seen, it is burned by the sun and it can't be appreciated for its value, you know, for its motives. But as it comes into the heart of the sun, it's as if this laser beam goes through it, this energy beam goes through it and it can really work miracles regarding the themes that it is in charge of. When Chiron is in Kazemi, this is a time for introspection. This is a time to touch our own pain. This is a time to address the problem. This is a time for wisdom. Getting older and wiser by understanding our constrictions, our humane abilities and disabilities, our imperfect selves and addressing, addressing everything that needs to be addressed cleansing and healing everything that needs to be cleansed and healed in our life these are three great days for healing so the 12th 22 degrees Virgo really a time to start that contemplation a start to a time to start a judgment process that is not harsh or cruel but is kind and working for our own betterment. It is about becoming more professional and more perfectionistic with how it is we do things. It's about understanding that every little detail counts and it is these little details that make up the big picture at the end of the day. And that if we address the details, we are able to affect the whole. And that this is a part of our mission, that we are called to give service, not only to make our own life better and healthier, but to affect our surroundings, to affect our environment, to affect the world and make it a healthier place to live in. Mercury, the planet of communication, the planet of verbal uh, uh, anything that is verbal, the planet of navigation and logic, goes into feisty um, Aries on the 13th, adding some more fire into that 
fiery pit that there is in the sky already and it can bring a lot of the passion and a lot of the enthusiasm back especially into conversations about ideological subjects but not only we should be careful from heated conversations it also really um, produces a great feeling of identification with what it is we believe in and that can cause motivation and a lot of creativity on the positive side it's a very creative side it's a very creative time but we have to be careful from being too hasty from being too angry or uh, um, heading straight forward without seeing who it is and what it is we're going over and and just going against stuff without understanding what it is we are for and not only against so it is a, a time to really cool a little bit of that temper with a lot of logic and strategic views of what it is we want to achieve in the long run and not just be stuck in the short run the 14th and the 15th are the times that Chiron is in Kazemi the heart of the sun this is a time for self-contemplation as I said before and a judgment that is not hard or harsh or cold but is warm and loving and kind this is our time to heal not only ourselves but our environments and people around us as well don't be afraid to touch all these painful subjects and places within you and your life at these days one last point on the 12th we have a connection between the moon and Saturn that's a day to be warmer and kinder and not as judgmental both for yourselves and for others on the 14th from uh, evening time in Central Europe from uh, late morning in uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time in America we're going to have Jupiter conjunct the moon that's a great time to enjoy food drink the company of people and just to pamper yourself and feel some contentment and enjoy life and on the 15th there's a connection between either Mars or Pluto I don't remember and the moon but that's a time to stay away from drama that's a time to be uh, uh, more objective and not as emotional with people around you and with yourself I want to thank you for listening and of course for private consultations private lessons courses or lectures feel free to give me a ring this is Boaz Fadami we have a beautiful week ahead goodbye